Hi everybody, Jean back on post bringing you more Mars anomalies in another high rise epic. This time we're looking at gigantic hidden or camouflaged domes on Mars. And I speculate these might be Amundsen Scott Antarctica designs. The MRO high rise photograph we're taking a look at is called Crater with textured mound in central Acidalia Planitia. Acquired on the 10th of February 2008 at a resolution of 29.6 centimeters per pixel. And I'll be showing you an image I cropped from the RGB color non map projected file. And there's a crop from the low res JPEG. And I think you're all familiar with this sphere or dome. It was featured a while ago. I can't remember the researcher who discovered this one. And there it is close up, not to scale. You can see the perfect rounded shape. It's got this convex shape to it. And uh, even NASA calls this a mound in inverted commas, I guess. It looks very much like a sphere or dome. And uh, the crater has been filled in. Check out the light sand surrounding this object. And there it is at one to one scale. And I estimate this to be about 100 meters across. Here's a look at the Amundsen Scott Antarctica Station Dome or Sphere. This one's 50 meters wide and 16 meters high. And there it is inside. You can see how much space is available. Very spacious uh, construction technique. Quite easy to put together. Very lightweight. And uh, if they use silica aerogel, then it could be very possible to build these on Mars. The gravity is also less. And uh, we can make really huge structures there, I'm sure. So this aerogel... To quote from the article, using modeling and experiments that mimic the Martian surface, the researchers demonstrated that a thin layer of this material increased the average temperatures of mid-latitudes on Mars to Earth-like temperatures. And uh, the other two domes that I discovered are also in the mid-latitudes, northern hemisphere of Mars. To continue spread across a large enough area you wouldn't need any other technology or physics you would just need a layer of this stuff on the surface and underneath you would have permanent liquid water this material could be used to build habitation domes or even self-contained biospheres on mars the first one i discovered is in this mro context camera image Acquired on uh, 2012-03-10 and it's located in this region of here. Taking a look at it, this is not to scale, this is zoomed out. You can see the dome or sphere right there. It looks almost as if it's uh, self-illuminating and it has a diameter of about 500 meters. What better place to hide these domes? than in craters there it is close up and you can see the ground or sand around this object is definitely lit up and also the dome itself has got this convex shape to it so this is a massive structure we can have a look at another one that i found this one uh, acquired on uh, 2008 0706 and it's located here in the top right. So there it is right there. Look how well hidden or camouflaged it is inside that crater. And it's about 300 meters in diameter. We zoom up close. We can check the dome itself. Casting the shadow. Lit up on the one side. And also convex in shape. Let's take a look at these domes. They're all in the northern hemisphere of Mars in the mid-latitudes. Scientists suggest that uh, the mid-latitudes are the best location for these. So there's the first one we're going to check out. Let's just switch on the MRO context camera mosaic. 
and there's the first time we're checking out unfortunately the images in Google Earth Mars are very bright very low contrast images but let's check out the size it's about 300 meters in diameter let's have a look at the other one not far from it let's zoom out a bit and it's right there and it's very close to the one site that uh, John Brandenburg speculates may have had a weapons grade nuclear explosion let's zoom in on the next one the internet connections a bit slow tonight guys this is the one that I showed you first and it has a diameter of about 100 to 150 meters and then uh, the last one also located in the northern hemisphere mid latitudes right there let's have a look at the width that's about 500 meters and you can also see definitely casting a shadow and bright on the one side ladies and gents all that considered do you think it might be possible that uh, Munson Scott designs might have been built on Mars in my opinion it might be very possible especially if you consider the lightweight material and the special aerogel that's available I'm sure that they can build large structures and we don't see much around these domes in form of technology as scientists suggest these domes will be self-sufficient so let me know in the comments below what you guys and girls make of this do you think there might be a human presence on Mars and uh, are these domes being hidden inside these craters just like they are on the moon perfect place to place these I would say also thanks to the new subscribers that recently joined welcome to the channel welcome on board we're a growing community of researchers checking out anomalies and uh, trying to figure out what we're having a look at so do drop your comments below you can also follow me on Facebook Twitter or over at my blog and if you'd like to contribute to my work and research to help me cover overheads, you're welcome to do so. I really appreciate it. I've got a PayPal and Patreon account for that. Thanks again for watching. I'll be back soon with more Mars and Space news. Take care. Bye-bye for now.